Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here, and it's time to take a look at the thinnest and lightest foldable phone that I've ever used, the Honor Magic V2. I think you're gonna start seeing more and more foldables get thinner and lighter, so I'm really excited to check this one out. This is more of a pre-production sample, so this will be more focused on the hardware of the device. So we'll take a good look at it. I'll even put it up next to the uh, Galaxy Z Fold 5, uh, so you can really see how thin it is. And later on, we'll cover more about the software side of things with this phone, so be sure to subscribe so you're notified when that goes live. But now, let's go ahead and unbox the Magic V2 from Honor. Here's the new Magic V2 from Honor. Opening it up, right away is the device unfolded. We'll set that to the side. Wow, that's really thin. We'll get to that in just a second, continuing through. You have your SIM ejection tool. Also, just some information about the device, getting started guide. You also get a case with, on the back, a kickstand. It says Honor right here. Uh, flipping this up, it will uh, hold strong. We'll set, we'll test this out in just a second, but also I noticed it said it twists. So, oh, okay, cool. I really like that design. Uh, so I'll show off how this really works. I believe this is a mag yeah, magnetic clasp uh, once we get the device opened up. And finally, in the box, you get a 66 watt on our supercharge charging brick plus a USB type A to USB type C cable. And on to the Magic V2 from Honor. I'm pretty excited to check this out. I'm glad folding phones are getting thinner and thinner. A nice leather type feel on the back. Let's close it and check that out. That is crazy how thin this foldable actually is. I'm gonna boot the phone up and while it turns on, we're gonna take a closer look at, uh, at this crazy hardware. Close look at the hardware. In comparison, here is the Galaxy Z Fold 5. Just note how thick it actually is. And I want to grab the S23 Ultra so you can just see how thin this actually is. Foldables are starting to get as thick as regular devices. At the bottom is where that SIM card slot is, USB Type-C port, microphone, and one of the speakers. Moving along on the right side is the power button with a fingerprint scanner embedded. Volume rockers on the other side, so when it does flip open, it's on the left side as opposed to the right side. Uh, note the camera bump. There is one, but it's pretty average overall, so nothing too crazy. Up at the top, another microphone, another speaker. I believe an IR blaster, so I like to see that. And then this is the titanium hinge design. Let's flip this open so you can see the mechanism when it closes. So it will open completely flat and just a quick close. Along that grippy back design says Honor and a triple camera system. You get a 50 megapixel wide angle lens, a 50 megapixel ultra wide angle lens, plus a 20 megapixel telephoto lens as well. Finally, I'd like to point out that that hinge feels pretty sturdy. It stays still at various angles that you're going to put it at. It, at a certain point, it will pop open, maybe about like right here. It will automatically open up, but Again, feels really strong, feels like a premium hinge. Oh, and by the way, somehow this still has a 5,000 milliamp hour battery inside. First things first, let's take a look at the outer display, 6.43 inches, 120 hertz refresh rate, uh, OLED display, looks great. And also a 20 to nine aspect ratio. So it's going to feel like a pretty standard candy bar style phone in your hand. Opening it up to the inside display, this is a 9.78 to nine aspect ratio, so almost a square. This also has a 120 hertz OLED display. It looks great. And not only that, a quick close up of that hinge. Uh, there is a little bit of a visible bump, but it is much more minimal than other foldables out on the market. And you can even, it's, you can barely feel feel it. So a definite upgrade visually and even with uh, the way you feel the screen, it almost is quite there as completely flush. It's not quite, but it's almost there. You do get the latest Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chipset inside, so expect it to be very quick and snappy overall. I really hope I can show you more in a future video. So that is just my quick hands-on. I am really impressed, but don't forget, I'd like to show off 
this case. Let's just go right into it. It snaps right on the back, so it's going to protect the back of the device, but it keeps the device extremely thin, so it doesn't really make it thick, so to speak. But now what I want to do is say, hey, kickstand. With the outer display, it will angle it this way or this way, not just for using the external display. Let's open it up, and you can set it down like this. And it's on the right side, but I still feel like you really have to give it a push to, to kind of tilt it over, but hey, it just kind of puts it in a different orientation. So you can use it this way or up vertically. Either way works. They're very similar aspect ratios, so fairly square. If you go to the side, it's a little bit more horizontal, so you might want to do that to watch uh, you know, a certain video, something like that. But I do really like it. But also, remember, it rotated. So let's rotate it to the side, and look at that. Changes the angle of the phone. So a little bit more upright, uh, which I like quite a bit. When you flip it over here, it's just gonna sit down flat, but this way it will actually put it up more upright. If we close the phone, again, it's not gonna work. Okay, I thought it would might work, but you can use it this way then. Uh, it'll work fine this way, but it's really easy to, to kind of twist, open and close. Again, magnetic clasp. I really like this case. Anyways, that is it for me on the Magic V2 from Honor. I hope you enjoyed the video. More to come, so be sure to click that subscribe button so you're notified when that video goes live. Be sure to click that thumbs up button. And as always, thanks for watching.